Hi, welcome to this presentation on gamified emissions through the wisdom of the crowds. So we're going to be talking about how we can use gamification to improve or to help support the issues and challenges that we have around climate change. So from a background perspective, there are several different things that have been impacting on the climate. Increased or decreased rainfall, emission standards that are increasing as a result of economic growth, and the fact that an increase in the use of fossil fuels has created a 70% increase overall in greenhouse gas emissions over time. And what we're trying to do is establish how to do a reduction in this in light of everything that's happening now. So when we look at where these emission violations, etc., are coming from, they're coming from these three top countries. China, the US, and the EU as a continent. So China representing the largest share, the US the second, and the EU the third. But what is interesting about this is that together, they represent more than almost 50% of all emission standards. So the question is, what are the challenges that we face in terms of biodiversity, sorry, in terms of climate change? First, there's the issue of biodiversity and the challenge that we have with regards to the threats to mammals, plants, and species that are dying and becoming extinct. We also have the conservation dilemma in terms of land use is becoming, we have less land, either through the fact that it's eroding or through the fact that something else is happening in terms of we're actually consuming that space for housing and other things and therefore reducing the amount of green space we have from an environmental perspective. We also have humans, conspicuous consumption, fast fashion, bigger cars, all these things are impacting on us, making it more difficult for us to manage the climate change challenges. And finally, regulation. As we know from right now, as I record this video, COP26 has been the biggest issue going on in Glasgow, etc. And we are yet to have standard regulation around these issues within our environment. So these are our top issues, challenges. How do we solve this problem? So we've got taking a gamified approach. And what we want to do is we want to look at the mechanisms of gamification, specifically as it relates to climate change. We want to identify how gamification can balance cognitive and behavioral components, i.e. what we can learn and how we behave as a result of changing our behavior through this new knowledge. We want to design a system that is citizen-based to demystify the technical aspects of climate change. And we want to implement this system in a platform that is not only about educating, but also captures data on what's going on, and I'll explain that a little bit more. And finally, that data we get, we want to have it as an analytic capability to be able to bolster and have this larger database of information in the age of data and digitization to be able to see and aggregate and cluster what these real challenges are happening at a local and global level. So, in terms of how we would do this, we want to take crowdsourcing and we want to look at the problems, whether they're homo or heterogeneous. And by that, we simply mean, is it a problem that everyone's having, or is it a problem that's specific to, to an area? So for instance, if we look at the Galapagos, or we look at Miami, those may be heterogeneous problems because they're very specific to that area in terms of we all know that Miami is sinking, and therefore that might be a problem there. But there are also homogeneous problems in terms of forest fires, species, etc. We also want to look at the psychological outcomes. How do we motivate? And this is where the gamification process comes in, in terms of that. We want to look at the behavioral outcomes in terms of what do we want to change? Do we just want attitudes to change, or do we want to have more active participation by people besides changing? It's one thing for people to know, it's another thing for people to be actively engaged. And finally, we want to have a gamified solution that is either emergent or non-emergent. And by that we mean simply, do we have everyone taking part and emerging into this and getting really involved, or do we keep it separate? The approach to this is through storytelling. And on one side, we want to use the storytelling approach. So we can have different stories, and we can have those stories liked, ranked, on leaderboards, use of analytics, etc to be able to inform the process, and on the other side, we want to have look at the behavioral outcomes in terms of collective participation, tons of stories, as opposed to one story, 
that tells us different things and shares knowledge. And on the other side, we want to have the MOOCs, which give us education. Through these stories, we can develop content that can help people learn how to solve these problems better. And this is what that's about. So it's gamified and a gamified outsourcing system where we're not designing the system internally, we're using the stories externally to design the systems. Once we do that, the gamification system, we expect the following outcomes. To be able to leverage this crowd data in a positive mapping and have them rank through our leaderboards, etc., to be able to determine which problems we should deal with in which locations. The MOOCs to help change behavioral outcomes. The community-based platform where we once we've done stuff through these to have better best practices, we can see at local or global level what's working well, what's not. But we now have an idea, much better idea of what it is. And then the analytics, which leverages the whole crowdsourcing data across geographic boundaries for transformation. So these are four principles upon which we look at outcomes. The aim being to use people and educate them to improve the climate in a fun manner while collecting data on the process. And this is the overarching purpose of the gamification through the crowds. Sneak peek. So if we were actually supposed to develop this, what would it look like? So on one part, think of a platform like Google Stadia or any online gaming platform. People would register their interest, they would identify an issue a challenge, and they would put it out there on the local or global system, upload pictures of what that challenges, data would be captured and shared amongst the community, they would create a local challenge to say, can you help us solve this? And then they would identify a local partner who would then grab part of that process and support them. So think councils, mayor's offices, environmental agencies, etc. And the second part would be, once they've done that, they would tell the story. And that story would inform writing some sort of narrative in a nice, visual, gamified way about what is happening. They would take that and we would have the MOOCs to support in terms of education awareness, how to deal with this problem, not only how to deal with it from an education perspective, but how this community dealt with it. And there would be learnings there, so people have sort of a library. And then again, you have progress and impact through the leaderboards that would help them through the process. The third part would be sharing of the aggregated data. All data that comes in would be shared, and that would allow local and regional and global communities to be able to solve the problem. And finally, we would look at creating this best practice library out of the process so that we have an overall implementation. So in the end, what we want to do is we want to use the wisdom of the crowds to create a gamified system that creates citizen scientists where we have active participation at the local, regional, or even global level where people can share their stories, show us what's going on, give us the information we need that would not be readily available through traditional scientific methods and allow us to be able to really tackle the problem of climate change from a global perspective as citizen scientists. Thank you for your time.